The Arizona teachers are behind us this time. I'm one of them. All right, this is the first time where there's actually a wave in this country where people think that we need to value public education a whole lot more. And for all us Democrats who've been saying that for 30 years, now is our time. So let's give a Tucson welcome to Superintendent of Public Instruction candidate, David Shapira. Good afternoon, everyone. We're not going to talk about the rivalry, but I am a Tempe City Council member, so it's a very difficult political position I'm in. But I will say uh, I I'm excited to be in this race, and I'm excited to be in Tucson. My, my family first came to Tucson in the 1940s. My I'm the fourth generation uh, uh, Shapira in Arizona, and my kids, my daughter here, the little kindergartner, is the fourth generation Shapira to be in an Arizona public school. My grandparents... My grandparents met at Tucson High. My parents met at Central High. Uh, and I went to school up in North Phoenix and my daughter goes to our neighborhood elementary school. I'm running for superintendent for my kids and for all kids in Arizona to have access to great education. Now look, every candidate comes up here and they're gonna try and convince you that their race is the most critical, that this year is the most critical we've seen in a long time. I'm gonna make my case. In Arizona, we have 2,000 vacant teaching positions. At the start of this school year, we had 8,000 teaching vacancies. Of those 8,000 vacancies, 52.8% of them, a majority, either went unfilled or were filled by someone who is not appropriately certified to teach that class. We are at a critical moment in this state, and the reason we are is because we have a group of people in power, including our current superintendent of schools, who believe that education is a commodity to be bought and sold and someone should make a profit. They think like Mitt Romney does, that you should just get as much education as you can afford. Those of us who believe differently, those of us who believe those words at the base of the Statue of Liberty that say, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free, those of us who believe that people don't come to this country so they can continue to be tired and poor. People come to seek opportunity. People come to seek to have a better chance than their parents did. And education is that chance. Education is that pathway to the American dream. And the politicians who are standing on that path, obstructing it for countless Arizona children, we got to push them out of the way this November. And we got to take back our education system in this state. And I just want to say one more thing. I saw, as I was looking around the crowd, I saw one of my former students here, Chris. He doesn't even know that I spotted him yet, but i got to give him a hug after this. I saw one of my former students here. We need someone who's going to fight for, for kids like Chris. He's not a kid anymore. He's a grown man. But people like Chris and my daughter to have a chance. Uh, you know, David Garcia came so close to winning this race four years ago. We have a real chance. This is our best chance at taking this race. We had a Green Party candidate and an independent candidate in the race. In the last few weeks, they have both dropped out of the race and supported me because they recognize how critical this election is. I need your help to make it happen. Take the yard sign on the way out. Sign up for our volunteers, you can get involved, and thank you for the time, Tucson. David Chapira.